All right, we're standing in a sorghum field, um, and what we're doing here is research on the sugarcane aphid and the impact it has on sorghum and Texas panhandle. What we're doing here um, in these plots um, is uh, with the support of Texas grain sorghum producers, we are testing several things, several different strategies uh, that we're trying to research as far as their effectiveness in combating this pest up here. One of them is planting date. This is a, um, uh, a very important uh, integrated management approach to plant crops earlier or later depending on uh, the vulnerability of the different stages to the pest. So we have uh, varieties of sorghum that we're testing as well, several different ones that we know are susceptible based on uh, previous research as well, some that show uh, what we can call tolerance, meaning they're not completely resistant to the aphid, but the aphid has a harder time increasing in populations very fast on these varieties. So we have early planted sorghum, we have late, uh, not late, but common uh, sorghum we planted in a common planting date. And what we're doing is planting different varieties of sorghum with and without tolerance to the aphids and with and without insecticide seed treatments. The aphids arrived in the panhandle um, last days of uh, July, first week of August, and their populations were very slow at building up at first. Well, what we see happening um, at the beginning of the infestation is we have LHs, these flying foundress um, aphids, we call them, from the surrounding habitats coming into the sorghum fields. Uh, those aphids then reproduce. Uh, they have live birth and they have what we call telescoping populations. What that means is that the, the mother aphid will have her daughters inside her as she's, as she's developing and her daughters will have their daughters inside of them. So what happens once the aphids establish, their populations have a capacity to increase incredibly fast. So what we saw at first, we saw very gradual increase in their populations and then all of a sudden, very quickly, we had hundreds, thousands of aphids per leaf. The early preliminary data, data indicate that um, the tolerant varieties, uh, what we see is a much slower and more gradual increase in populations of these aphids. What this means to producers particularly is that if you're scouting regularly, weekly, and you're using varieties with tolerance, you'll have more time to make a decision, make sure that we catch the pest before uh, it basically is too late because of how fast they increase in numbers. We're, um, we're hoping to continue this research in a greenhouse uh, experiment as well where we will actually infest the plants at different stages with a known number of aphids and then in a very controlled way measure their impact on yield of the plants. We are in a bit of a different situation than folks down south where aphids um, colonize the plants early in plant development, we start seeing them at heading, um, blooming, and a little bit later even, depending on planting date. So we're going to measure impact on uh, yield when aphids show up on the plants and start feeding on them at different plant stages. And we're going to continue this research. It's very important to collect data over multiple years because we have a lot of variability in terms of the weather the um, uh, precipitation levels and such that it might affect our, our results as well. And it's very important to stick to thresholds before making management decisions. We have noticed very quickly in these fields, um, in all of our crossover different varieties and treatments, we have tremendously robust populations of biological control. These include, of course, lady beetles, as well as parasitoid wasps, as well as uh, many different um, um, biological control agents, such as surfid fly larvae, which are not very well known, but very important as well. The point is if we pull the trigger too fast on treatments we're going to kill these natural enemies and they do a very good job at eating up those really low populations of aphids and getting them uh, to increase a little bit slower than they would otherwise.